Well, what's up, everybody? It's Blaine Dennison, owner and operator of Quick and Clean Lawn Care. I'm just going to make my last stop for today. And uh, I'm running to the house, and I'm going to do my attempt to answer an age-old question of who makes the best string trimmer line. I'm sorry, I keep looking at my screen instead of looking at the lens, so if it looks like I'm looking off. It takes a little practice getting used to using a camera and not a phone anymore. Let me know if you guys noticed the quality in these last few videos. I've been using the uh, Canon 7... What's, what is this? What is Yeah, the Canon uh, 7, 7070D. Um, it's not a new camera, but it, it should work perfect for these vlogs and videos that I make. And uh, hopefully, you know, it makes a little difference in the quality. But I'm going to go home when I'm finished here, and I'm going to try to answer an age-old question of who makes the best trimmer line. Now, I know that it all depends on, you know, dealer support, local dealer support, the availability of what you can get, and price points. So what I did is I chose my two favorite trimmer lines, um, and I'm going to put them in a head-to-head -head competition against each other to see which one uh, would cut better, which one is sharper, and which one will last longer. Um, as far as price comparison, they're both really close to price, so it really just comes down to its availability for you. Uh, but for me, they're pretty available. First trimmer line is we're going to be testing is the Echo Black Diamond uh, 0.95, I believe it is, and we'll be also we'll be comparing that to the Steel CF3 Pro 0.95 as well. These are both twisted lines. Uh, like I said, price comparison, they're pretty close to the same. I think they're somewhere between 8 and $10. I'm not, don't quote me on it. But uh, I've created these little cardboard props that we're going to cut through. Uh, in the first test, we're going to see which one cuts cleaner and which one, you know, which one cuts cleaner and which one is stronger. And uh, we'll compare the two lines, which one cuts through the cardboard the best. Uh, what I'm looking for, I'm trying to think of the term to use is tracking. Um, I notice a lot of cheap lines when it comes in contact with things it wants to it wants to, to, to bend and lay flat and then you can't get any accuracy because it, it, it you know it won't uh, it won't track properly. I'm, 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 I'm having problems trying to find the terms as to what to use so if you know a little bit more about this than I do leave a comment below but uh, that's the first test we'll be cutting through cardboard we'll see how clean the cut is and how well the uh, the trimmer line cuts through. We'll be using the Echo uh, SRM 3020T string trimmer uh, at full RPMs. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trimmer line in the spool, I'm going to rev it up, and then I'm going to make contact with the cardboard and attempt to cut through a clean straight line. So let's see what the Echo Black Diamond does first, and uh, and then we'll go to the to the to the steel trimmer line and see what it does. So you guys hang on a second and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Wow. Uh, first thing I've noticed, you know, I wanted to test tracking of the string and I've noticed that I was having problems with just staying on the mark. And what I should have did before this test was make a mark with a Sharpie and try to follow it. But you can see in the video where it, it seems to be jumping, uh, you know, from I'm, I'm trying to cut and then it comes all the way down to the bottom of the uh, cardboard and then it, it's tearing up the cardboard. And the second thing that happened is before I even cut thoroughly through the cardboard, I had to bump and feed more line into, you know, through the, through the trimmer, through the, through the trimmer head to finish cutting through. Uh, and then instantly you see this, it, it still had problems. This is at full RPMs on a 3020T. Still had problems cutting through and you can see where it was missing the mark and going all through the place. Um, but we're going to compare that to the Steel CF3 Pro. 
um, you know, instantly when I look at the note at that, when I notice the difference between the two lines, you know, physical characteristics, uh, the CF3 Pro almost seems to be made of a different material. It's got a little bit more flexibility to it. It's kind of a smoother sheen or shine to the finish of the of the trimmer line and I know at first glance you probably wouldn't think that makes a difference but to me that causes less friction so uh, cutting through things would make it a lot easy and I know you know we're getting kind of petty with comparing these two lines you know we cut grass we're not cutting cardboard we're not making you know we're not writing our name in people's lawns we're just running sidewalks and things like that and fence lines and stuff like that so perfection isn't really needed but I just want to compare the two lines uh, to see which one is superior over the other one and if I had to make a choice of which one I wanted which one would I choose first um, but next we're gonna go ahead and use the steel CF3 Pro we're gonna run it through the same test and uh, see what happens guys just hang on a second let's check it out Wow. Now, I've been using both of these trimmer strings for quite some time, and I kind of have an idea of which one I believe is better than the other. Uh, I'm going to keep my opinion to myself, but you guys seen here in the still CF3 Pro uh, shot, when it went to cut through the cardboard, it instantly cut it almost laser sharp. It didn't struggle. You know, you see when I did the echo, I had to rebump and feed more line and finish cutting through and even still it tore the cardboard up this was a pretty clean cut first try it from what i seen it didn't use any trimmer string i don't think anything broke off um but like i said before i'm running this test on cardboard this is not lawn this is not you know fence lines this isn't edging but you know we like to say there's a lot of attention in the detail so you know and for me I edge with my string trimmer so accuracy is is kind of important for me but the most important thing that I would think that all of us collectively would think is more important than trimmer string is uh, how long does it last how durable is it and how often will you be buying it so I decided that I'm gonna take some cinder blocks I've got a cinder block for the echo line, I have a cinder block for the steel line, and I'm just going to bump out a, a length of line, or a couple of them. I put four feet of trimmer line in each, you know, I, 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 I cut out four feet of trimmer line, and each test we're going to see how long it takes to run through four feet of trimmer line. Now I understand that bumping and all that stuff, so we're going to, every time we make contact with the cinder block, we'll do a countdown to see which one last longer okay so uh let's check that out and let's see what the echo black diamond uh does when it comes face to face with some concrete let's check it out Not impressive. Um, it seemed every four seconds I was rebumping, and uh, you know, so that's what it is. You know, we went what three times? We bumped three times before we ran out of the four feet, and uh, it took about four seconds to run through a length of line. So let's just uh, compare that and see what the steel does before we say anything about either one. You guys, hold on a second.
dang just from here it looks like you know what we might as well just go ahead and say it man uh i'm an echo fan i love echo products uh my first choice of product is echo uh you know I've, i run all echo hand power tools minus uh a steel <clears throat> hedge trimmer <clears throat> and an old red max weed eater but everything else is echo got like two echo blowers pole saws hedge trimmers string trimmers everything's echo but if i had to choose between these two lines i have to say i have to go with the steel cf3 pro uh in my opinion it's superior over the echo black diamond as far as its cut accuracy and its durability the, to me these are the two most po these are the two most important things when it comes to trimmer line how well is it going to cut and how long is it going to last you um because we don't want to keep changing trimmer line throughout the yard or throughout the day constantly i know we have to sometimes you know every few yards we have to put new trimmer line so i mean in my opinion this proves that the brand of trimmer line and how often you're changing trimmer line and the price you're paying for trimmer line makes a big difference so this test should be very informative i hope so if you think it is let me know in the comments if you don't think it is let me know in the comments and if you want to see me put any other trimmer line through any other tests leave that in the comments as well and if you are a uh, manufacturer of a trimmer line my email is in the description and uh, just let me know if you would mind giving me some and I'll run it through the same test as well and I'll compare it to any other brand that you'd like just uh, let me know in the email or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram I'm there as well but that's it guys the still CF3 Pro is superior over the echo black diamond um you know it really depends on your dealer support and availability of any trimmer line um i'm not saying these two are the best trimmer lines in the market i know these are the two most popular brands and they battle head to head a lot on who's better um so i figured i'd run this test now i've been using both of these trimmer lines for well over a year and i've put them through all kinds of situations you know cut ditches uh, commercial property gravel driveways uh, chain link fence lines wooden fence lines I've, I've, I've done some heavy duty stuff with the trimmer and trimmer line is important and you know I've cut some I've cut some rough stuff guys uh, so what trimmer line you use for your trimmer is very important um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video you know my opinion like I said the Steel CF3 Pro is a superior line, not only just in this little test that I've ran, but just from using it over time, I've uh, I've learned that the Steel CF3 Pro was superior. Now I've kept that secret for quite some time because everybody knows I am an Echo fan, so you know what I'm saying is truth. Because if I can give it to Echo, I would. But proof is in the pudding, guys. Uh, accuracy and durability, Steel CF3 Pro is superior. So let me know what brands you're using, what trimmer lines you're using, and which ones you think is the best. Leave that down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.